Hello comrade, my name is Geralt and I welcome you to tutorial 18 for Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. Why is this the last one since without water nothing works? Don't know, but here we are. If you missed the previous tutorials, the link with the playlist is in the description of the video. Build a water substation. Water substation distribute water to residential buildings, shops and factories. So that works pretty much the same as the electrical substation or the heat exchanger. Heat exchanger, right? Not heat exchange. I don't know. Water substation. Let's see where we're going to build it. Ah, far from here. Okay, so... Here? Boom. Good work, comrade. So this now... Where is it? Ah, there it is. This now connects to pretty much all the buildings around here and is going to deliver water to them. So as I said, like the substation. Uh, the electrical substation. Build a water well. Water wells put water out poo, sorry, water out from the ground and can be a main source of untreated water. Untreated water. So let's see what that means, right? Perfect work, comrade. I imagine untreated water is water that cannot be used for drinking. Build a water treatment plant. Water from wells is not necessarily clean enough. You will need water treatment plants to purify the water. Otherwise, your workers may refuse to drink it or in the worst case, they may get sick. And that's one of the worst things that you can get in your Republic, comrade. Water treatment. Ooh, there's a plenty of buildings here. Water substation, pumping stations, water towers, water wells, and water treatment, water unloading. Loading, oh, that's cool. And water switch. Cool, let's see. Water treatment. Where are we going to put it? Ah, here. Nearby as well. Probably needs workers, you know. Build water pumps. Water can flow downhill, but not uphill. Oh, <laughs> no joke, eh? And it will flow very slowly on flat plains. Ah, that's interesting. You have to consider then the, the nivellation that you have here. If you want to move water uphill or on flat ground, you will need a water pumps. You will have to place water pumps between all buildings that operate with water. So that means the well and the treatment plant then, right? So this is our water well. We have some water here. There is a bunch of outputs. They have their bars, so that the pressure that they have here. Which uh, is probably what can show you if you have... Uh, if you need pumps, because if you don't have enough pressure, you will need the pumps. Obviously pumps require electricity and so on and so forth. Water tank export. Aha, uh -huh. so this is the water tank that we have here, which we cannot see apparently. Uh, I don't think I can see it. Interesting what the workers do. Maybe make it get water faster. Yeah, I think it started to become faster when we get more workers. Water quality 92, current production. Yeah, yeah, okay, there you go. So the current production per workday is I guess uh, increasing with the amount of workers that we have. So that's how much water we will get per day. Cool. And what was the other building that we had here? The water substation currently is not connected so it doesn't have anything. And that's the water treatment plant. Which has a water tank import, a warehouse of chemicals. Oh, it needs chemicals, that's expensive shit. And we have inputs. Three inputs and two outputs. Interesting, okay. And a nice picture here, which we have to figure out what it is. Hold to flush water down the drain. Interesting, that's an interesting building with a lot of buttons that we have to figure out. We'll build water pumps. Water can... yeah, we already read that. Okay, we are going to build this here. Good job. So now we have to connect the two, I guess. Build water pumps. Water can flow. Yeah, we already did that. But I guess we have to build more. Uh, where is the other one here? Good job. 
switch to underground. So it's a little bit weird, to be honest, if you ask me that uh, this building, for example, doesn't have its own pumps to push the water out. But okay. You can see underground connections in this mode. Ah, F3. Good job. Connect buildings to water pipes. The size of the pipes limits the speed at which water gets... So the speed, not the volume. Interesting. Very interesting. But still we have volume here. Maybe the translation is bad. Okay, we connected the well with the treatment plant. And now we're going to connect the treatment plant to the station. And now uh, let's get out of here and see water. So that's the import. Okay. Doesn't have workers yet. Desired water quality 99%. Current production zero because we don't. Buildings is without drinking water. No workers. We don't have workers. Why? Ah, because it's not connected, I guess. Select the correct building to... Aye, game, come on. Now we cannot see the water coming here. Anywhere. Uh, build a sewage substation. Sewage tank. Sewage tanks collect waste water from residential buildings, shops, and factories. So that is basically the same, but uh, taking things out, not... Uh, distributing them. Where are we supposed to put it? Here. Uh, do I have to turn it a little bit more? Yeah. You're doing great, comrade. Let's see how it looks. Ah! It looks very cool, actually. It's very small, which is very nice. Cool. Sewage pollution. Oh, pollution. Interesting what that is. Build a sewage treatment plant. Discharging sewage directly into nature will cause pollution that will damage the health of your citizens. Yeah, but what if we do it far away, eh? Huh? Huh? <laughs> sewage treatment plant. So sewage treatment plant does not cause pollution then. Oh, that's a big building. Very large. Cool, cool. Ah, why so blue? It should be green, I would say. I think they do this with algae, if I'm not mistaken, in the real world. Connect the sewage tank to the treatment plant. Sewage pipes use simple flow to transport sewage, so they can only transport sewage downhill, so like the water. If your substation is lower than your sewage destination, you will have to use sewage pump to add additional height to the flow so it can flow down again the rest of the way. What? That's weird. Good work. Okay. Build a sewage discharge. Now that the sewage went through the treatment plant, it is relatively safe to release it back into nature, even though the pollution is still there. Ah, so it doesn't remove the pollution, it just lowers the amount of pollution. Perfect work. We will have to connect it, I'm pretty sure. Connect. Connect the treatment plant to the sewage discharge. What am I doing wrong? Uh -huh. Good work. There it is. Our pipes are ready. Build another water well and water treatment plant. Ah, in the other side of the town. Okay. You're doing great, comrade. Connect them and use a water pump to make sure the water is flowing.
How do we do this exactly? Uh huh. Good job. Build a sewage vehicle station. These can be used to load or unload sewage to and from vehicles. Which can collect sewage from tanks or directly from buildings. Interesting. So if you don't have like the pipes and everything, you can do it with uh, vehicles. That I guess is interesting. Have to see how productive, how efficient, not productive that is. Excellent. Lenin would be proud. Build a sewage discharge. Now that we are further away from town, we won't necessarily need a sewage treatment plant. However, you should always consider building one. Ah, consider doesn't mean that you have to. You're doing great. Connect the vehicle station with the sewage discharge. Now vehicles that are sent here can unload sewage directly into the sewage discharge. No pipes needed. Uh, what do you mean? I have to build connect here. Ah, meaning no pipes needed to connect to the rest of the city. I see, I see. Okay, let's see what we have. So we have this well already, which is pumping water with 92 quality, which goes here to the water treatment plant, which... Which does not do anything i think because we didn't actually put the substation here right interesting okay and then who is creating wastewater there you go wastewater huh so i guess now we have to set up the vehicles that are going to do this view the technical services office trucks from technical services can be used to distribute drinking water buildings that are not connected to water ah there you go they can also be used to collect sewage from buildings that are not connected to sewage tanks ah that's cool i mean i don't quite uh, i understand about the sewage but uh bringing water with uh, vehicles seems a little bit weird purchase water trucks and sewage trucks for technical services water truck Sewage truck. Good job. They look very similar, but the uh, sewage ones are... What is this? Orange? Brown? <laughs> really bad with colors. And a little bit smaller tanks, I imagine. Yeah. Let's see. No, actually, they are the same capacity. They're pretty much the same trucks. They just look a little bit different. Set a water source building for technical services. Technical services will send trucks to this building to collect water. Excellent. Lenin would be proud. And now we have to select the sewage discharge over there. Lenin would be proud. And now we're going to start seeing these trucks coming here to take water. And bringing that water to all the buildings around here, I imagine. And where is the tasks here? Ah, there is no tasks actually. So, uh, based on what percentage are they bringing the water? It's interesting. Where are you going? Farmlands brief up. Uh huh. And now there is water here. Kind of weird. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh, there. So, that's interesting. I don't think we will do things like that, right? I think we will build things with pipes. Interesting mechanic, though. It's good that they added this. That you can uh, bring water and take sewage out with trucks. So, the sewage trucks also went out, but I cannot see them yet. Where did they go? Ah. No. Interesting. Very interesting. Ah, no. They actually didn't go anywhere. Huh. Okay. Built a river pump. Water from rivers is nowhere near as clean as water from wells, but it can still be used in the construction industry.
surface intake. Lenin would be proud. Yeah, this can be used for uh, crops, I imagine, construction and things like that. Uh, actually, for crops, I'm not sure, but maybe. Build a concrete plant. With water management enabled, some buildings will require water input stopper. Well, yeah, concrete for sure. Good job. So now we have to connect them directly or with the pump? Yeah, we need a pump. Yeah. Water would be uh, interesting <laughs> to, to solve. Make sure concrete plant receives. There we go. Excellent. Lenin would be proud. Build a small water well on a hill. Small water wells don't need workers to operate. And thanks to the elevated position, this one won't need a pump either. Um, does it tell you how much water you're going to get? Probably not. I mean, I see some green dots around it. Apparently there is water everywhere, actually. I, I, don't, I think that's what it's showing. Yeah? Good work, comrade. Water quality, 95. A water switch can be used to split the flow of water to fit into multiple buildings. Water pressure is retained from the inputs to the output of the switch, so you don't need pumps between every connection. Well, thanks for that. So water switch is uh, same like electricity. Where do we put it? Aha. Uh -huh. Perfect work, comrade. Hey, looks so cool. It's awesome because it's kind of underground, right? But still you have an... Um, uh, what do we call here? Like a token to see on, on ground as well. Ensure that the fabric factory and the concrete land have direct water connections. Fabric factory. Oh, it needs plenty of water actually. This half, 56. Big water pipe. Medium, small. Uh, let's take this one here. Ah, wait. Okay, first uh, to the station. Oh, sorry, to the switch. Did we build it? Yeah, I think so. But this one? Not so much. What happened here? We are connected, yeah. Draw the infrastructure as it's shown in the scene. Ah, oh, oh my god. Oof. That's my bad. <laughs> a concrete plant. I, I thought that we are going to connect to this one. That is all for this tutorial. Okay. So we have water now. And they are already working. So I guess without water it doesn't work, right? That should be the point here. Same goes for the water factory, which already has it. And there is your inputs here. You have the bar. Water quality 100%? And maybe that's 100% from the perspective of the um, concrete plant. Because it's 94 here. Very, very interesting. And these guys, they don't need electricity, I think, because I don't think it's connected currently. But probably they, sh they do. Maybe here the electricity is disabled, if that's even possible. Yes, yes, yeah. To uh, make things simpler to understand, I imagine. Okay. Awesome. With this, we conclude the final tutorial provided by the game. And I will say a few words about this experience. Workers and Resources Soviet Republic is a very complex game with multiple systems that uh, require planning. And it's great that we have so many tutorials. It's close to impossible for new players, I imagine, to understand what's, what's what without the tutorials. 
However, I will also say that I find them lacking uh, in terms of depth and it would have been nice if the scenarios were a little longer and showing more details about each topic, especially like some edge cases or something like that, if you have some, of course. But what do you think? Did you find the tutorials useful and comprehensive? Share your opinion in the comment section below. Also, do not worry, that is not the last of the videos for this game, we are just starting. We are continuing with the campaigns next time, where we should probably do that in-depth exploration of all the mechanics. Before you go, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.